Cinema 5D at IBC 2018 is brought to you by CVP, your one-stop shop for cine, video, photo, and more. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Music Vine, beautifully produced music for film and video. And Tilta, arm your camera. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at IBC 2018, but you're actually watching this right after IBC because this new product from Pomfort was just announced. Uh, is that right? Here's Patrick, how are you? Yes, hello, thanks for stopping by. So uh, you have a new product. Um, everybody knows Silverstack and you just introduced an offload manager. Yes, so when we started the project we thought what are the most important things close to the camera um, and we focused on these activities, offloading camera cards and creating reports. Because we think offloading to multiple destinations is something that always was going to happen. And creating the reports as a proof of the work that you did, that all camera cards are offloaded to multiple destinations, is something essential that every production will have. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows Silverstack Lab, but it's usually mostly used by very professional DITs. Uh, because it's also not something that you know you can wrap your head around uh, immediately and it has a lot of functionality that I think is a bit overkill for the ordinary user, right? Yes, that's, that's what we thought is that um, exactly these two activities, offloading camera cards, was also the start for the Silverstack application, but it grew to something very broad to cover all these different activities that can happen in a, in a more complex, high professional production. And so we try to focus back and think what's the essentials and build that into a totally new application. Cool. So what are the essentials and can you show us? Yeah, maybe we take a look at the, at the application to see what it, what it looks like. What we, what we thought is focusing on the activities. So on top you see attached camera cards. In that case, that would be two camera cards. This is your to-do list in a way because it's the things still to be offloaded. So those are two sources basically that are attached to the computer right now? That's, that's true. And below you will see either running tasks, like offloads just happening, and then you're done things, like uh, camera cards you offloaded also previously today or the days before. So you have a full history of things. Maybe we just uh, demonstrate how that, uh, how that could work. So for that attached um, media, I just click offload. I see uh, a screen where uh, uh, the software already scans what's on. So I see it's uh, a few gigabytes, it's three clips, Ari Alexa in that case. So there is some detection of, of the media. It's a media aware application. So it, it, okay, so it recognizes what kind of camera this was shot on usually. Yes, that, that it, it does. And then I can um, add, as in Silverstack, uh, multiple destinations. I choose a second one here to another drive that we have attached. Um, and that's it already. So now I'm one source to two destinations. I can save that as a preset so I don't have to configure that for the next things and I just start the offload. And so I see um, that this card is now offloading to these two destinations. And one thing we, do, uh, we did uh, for that application, we split the copying process from the verification process. Because we think sometimes, especially for these last card of the day um, use cases, where you're in a, in a little stressy situation at the end of the day, sometimes you just need to get away with a backup, but verification might be done in the hotel later or next morning. So we, we just show copy process, and then you know when that is done that all the files are copied, and then verification happens, all the destinations are read again and compared, hash um, numbers are compared and checksum so you know that everything is really the exact same data as on the So you mean uh, in case of a last card of the day scenario because that card will not be deleted immediately again, right? Yeah, that or you're losing power and everyone is wrapping up and you just want to wait, don't want to wait for that verification because for a long card that might take also a bit because everything is read again. I mean, that's what you want to do is really verify that everything's on the card, but for that you need to read it again. How many destinations can you assign uh, at once? I think that's more limited by the ports of your computer. <laughs> so, I think theoretically I, unlimited? Or? Yeah, so I, I think two or three would be the standard, maybe to a local rate that you have all footage on set yeah. with you, and then maybe travel drives that go to editorial, go back and forth. And you could, could theoretically also copy from, so let's say a lot of shoots these days are with a lot of different cameras, so you have a you know, like a professional, more professional camera, like uh, let's say an FS7 running, and then you have a SD card, 
uh, and then you have maybe another SD card with a reader. Mm -hmm. uh, could you offload from several sources uh, at the same time? Yes, so a simultaneous copy, that's what we know from our other applications. If you have two card readers or an SD card reader and a Mac, uh, that can copy simultaneously and will try to balance as well as possible that all these streams are copied as fast as possible. And again, also the multi-destination is read once from the file and then copied uh, to several destinations simultaneously. And it's based on the same engine as SilverStack mm. is. So we took um, all we had about copying files, uh, detecting image sequences, reading the metadata and put that into that application but purely with that focus on these activities offloading and creating reports. Maybe we take a look at the reports. Um, so there are two kinds of reports that we can do. One is more, as I mentioned, the documentation of work so that you can do for a, uh, for a group of offloads. So that is grouped by a shooting day, uh, for example. I create a report for the group. Uh, is an offloads report, how we call it. And that contains um, information about all the cards that have been copied, so it contains all cards, uh, the formats that have been on the card and the running time, and then uh, the single offload activities with when was it copied and when was it verified, what hashing was used. It's a very brief overview of what happened during the day. I think it's really helpful how much your software actually knows what it is copying, because I think very often I think I, I just find myself because of paranoia, even though using copy management software, transfer management software, just going in if it's actually there, everything. But this reads the file format, the resolution, the frames per second, so it's easy to compare to the original data. Yeah. Is that possible for all kinds of video data? It's for the all the f uh, format ranges that SilverStack also supports. So really a broad range from GoPro to uh, Red, Alexa, Canon, Sony, XABC. Okay. Oh. Cool. Um, in terms of uh, last question, uh, is there a are you faster copying than the finer, or is it the same speed? Um, well, the copying is as fast as it can be. So I think we're we're not really limiting at any case. There is one limitation is with the, with the hashing because we want to create the software wants to create hash. Uh, um, checksums. So uh, especially when using MD5 or SHA1 uh, checksums, there is somehow a built-in limit of 300 megabytes per second, but that's more due to the hashing algorithms. If you're using XX hash, which is a more lightweight hashing that is as secure as the others, there is actually no limit, and I think the copying sh should be more or less uh, as fast as Finder. But uh, you have the additional verification, of course, like reading again the files, that takes extra time. Okay, great. So yeah. I, I want, just want to add one. The, the other report type that we have, if you want to go a little bit more in detail, you can also create a report per card or also for an entire day, but that goes a little bit more into detail um, and that displays the list of clips that are within a card also. So if we take a look at that report, um, you can you see also a summary of that card, and now you see a list of all the files. So if you want to go into more details, that would be the second report type uh, that the software can create. OK, great. Quite detailed. OK, thank you. Uh, pricing and availability. So availability is from now on download. It's also a free trial. Uh, pricing, it starts with uh, 29 euro or $35 for a 14 days license, or there is a yearly license uh, for 119 euros or $139. Okay, um, and uh, is it a, the, the free trial, is it fully functional? Yes, it's fully functional, but it will add um, a little bit to the file names, so you will not get the exact same size file names as in the trial, but you ha uh, in the full version, but you can have all functionality copying from multiple destinations and everything. Cool, we'll add the link to the article so people can try. Um, so. Thank you, Patrick. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more news and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.